<laughs> We're sitting here with uh, Camille at Tattoo Jam in Doncaster. How are you getting on, Camille? Are you enjoying the convention? Pretty sweet, thank you so much. Yeah, no worries. Nice. Uh, and you're from Poland originally? Yeah. Um, but at the moment you're kind of doing guest spots uh, around Europe and, and the convention scene. Yeah, uh, I've been uh, I've been quite uh, busy with doing that, and uh, uh, I'm enjoying travel and and see uh, the people and just kind of get influence from them, you know. Yeah. And add to my work. And how did you come into tattooing yourself? How did you discover it? Uh, I finished art school uh, back home, like uh, I think it was ten years ago. God damn, I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, and I met this guy uh, back home in, in Krakow, Robert, and uh, he had this little shop, and I just walked in and just asked him for, like, you know, just, you know, I want to get some tattoo done, and then I, I thought, all right, you know, maybe I will just kind of get into that. But he, he, he told me, like, uh, you can try doing some drawings for me first, and, you know, see how it goes and stuff like that, and I remember he showed me this book, with his sketches and stuff, and I was like, so, I mean, I met, you know, he was like, Jesus, this guy's good and stuff, you know, and yeah. I, I, I thought, this is actually cool, it would be a cool way of, of, of making a living, you know, and because there was no any perspective after what I was doing back home, you know, after my school, because it's, it's right. kind of art is pretty dead over there, I mean, you know, from making a living, you can't just, yeah. just you know. In terms of your own, your own artwork, yeah. Um, obviously, a lot of people have, in, especially in tattooing, there are kind of the basic genres, you know, biomech, traditional. Yeah. But uh, we always like to, to ask the artist, how would you describe your own work? Uh, I always been been a big big fan of um, <coughs> of symbolism, Polish symbolism, and, and impressionism. And uh, my favorite artist would be uh, Malczewski, Jacek Malczewski, and and uh, Stanislaw Wyspiański. That was the two the guys that I would just, uh, you know, I, I took influence most from them, you know, which is like this, this style of painting. Yeah. Because I never been patient, so I couldn't actually do normal tattoos because you need to be really patient actually doing that. Yeah. You know, paying attention for little details and stuff like that. At the beginning I was too crazy and too, I want my work be more loose and, and free, you know, and, and, uh, this is how I end up doing that, from from my uh, laziness. <laughs> I just try to like, yeah, I'm just gonna use it as a brush, and that's kind of. At the beginning, it didn't work because the technique wasn't there. You know, it's kind of hard, you know. And then when I achieve, I, when I went to the, when I get to the point, I'm able, I was able to uh, to use technique and use this medium for and transform transform for my art. It was great feeling, you know, because um, I realized. I'm able to do it on the skin, you know, because skin is very really awkward canvas, you know. It's not a, you know, plain canvas, you know. Yeah. And that you can do or whatever, and you know. So uh, you know, it's it's, and I I feel I'm I'm trying to more paint on the skin, paint on the skin than actual tattoo and. Yeah, so more more illustrative, uh, maybe. You can yeah. Talk. Yeah. Very really symbolic. I mean, sometimes I'm, I think I'm touching a little bit of realism, but just a little bit. Uh, I'm, I appreciate the you know the realism and stuff, but uh, it's I like symbolism. I like symbolic stuff. I yeah. like just pretend, you know, that it's you know it's, you know I don't know. It's just it's just having more fun. You yeah. Know? I don't like uh, watching a picture next to me and just rip exactly the same line, you know, line to the line. You know, I just. Uh, I'm not a fan of it. I just want to kind of interpret it that and, and yeah. transform to my my stuff, you know. Okay, great. What's been your favorite piece, or are you still yet to do it? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, the, the people that I tattooed it, uh, yesterday, uh, they've been they're my clients from from London. So I mean, from the studio. So it's kind of like continuation and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and my favorite would be I don't know. I'm. It's hard to say, you know. Uh, or is there any one? Is there only one tattoo you have in your mind? Maybe that you kind of think, oh, I can't, I can't wait to Not tattoo really. that. Yeah. Not really. Or maybe in the future. Doesn't have to be this weekend. Uh, uh, I no. no. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I'm really. Uh, I like just kind of surprise myself and just be in a put myself in a position that, in a situation that I'm like, all right, right now I'm doing this. Okay, so let's just have fun with that. You know. Yeah. So I, I, I mean. I'm trying not to 
even with the drawings and preparing the, the, the stuff for the clients, I'm, I'm trying not to uh, like, preparing drawing like like a week before or something like that. Just to, I rather do it like day before or something like that, so it's fresh and new and and more surprising for me and more like enjoyable, you know. Yeah. So so I actually didn't have a never chance to think about oh this this is what I'm gonna do. That probably like, that's gonna be my favorite piece, you know. So it's not. So you like the element of surprise, anyway. Yeah, I do. I love. I love that because I just, uh, I, you know, I'm just having more fun than you know. I think. Cool. Um, what's been the maybe the biggest difference in, in the industry that you've seen? The the change. Right? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think uh, it it's it's became more professional. I think the more respectable, and I think it's just you just make a normal living from it more than that even and. And uh, um, just normal people that are not even into tattooing, they they appreciate that, you know, yeah. because it's get really huge. And and I think the TV programs they change it uh, as well, you know. Do you think do you think they serve to, to add a little bit more uh, knowledge, and uh, maybe take away a little bit of the mystique, uh, or maybe even a little bit of the fear of going yeah. into a tattoo well, shop? Well, yeah, but I'm not a great fan of any of those shows. Yeah. Um, only one show I was supporting was LA Inc. because uh, Hannah and, and she's a friend of mine and I was like, yeah, you know, watching friends, just doing nice stuff and, and, and thing. But other than that, I, I, I really don't like and I don't appreciate any other programs because I think they uh, they show a really bad side of it, you know, like, um, and I, I think, you know, the, the TV stations, whatever, they use the fact just you know the fact that oh it's tattooing let's make a problem let's make this interesting for normal people then I would like to see, what I would like to see more is just uh, the real world that we dealing with you know which is real artwork great pieces you know like dedicated clients and it's just like a bunch of like fucking walkings coming over there and just getting cherries man I'm just sick of that you know yeah so I don't th I mean but like I said it helps. It opened the doors for for normal people, and they kind of like more um, appreciate it and more tra um, they treating us more seriously, you know. Yeah. I think. Well, I, I hope. You know. Yeah. I don't care on the end, you know. <laughs> and um, so, so what's next for you now? Are you, you've got some more conventions lined up, or are you are you doing got um, guest spots you're looking yeah, forward I'm to? Yeah, I'm doing a guest spot in New York in this. Uh, in end of this month in Las Rides, uh, there's going to be third visit over there. That's probably the studio. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's been really, really interesting. You know, really, uh, uh, I love New York, so it's really cool to coming back over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to do a few few guest spots. You know, I don't know when I'm. I'm trying uh, to go back maybe Poland for a while. You know, to work with my um, friend David Robert that he. You know, the guy who told me to tattoo. You know? All right, okay. So, uh, uh, so yeah, you know, a little bit of traveling. So it's a bit of an open book going forward. Yeah, but I'm still pretty busy in London, so uh, yeah. I'm doing my stuff over there and pretty booked up. So I need to line my, um, you know, club. I mean, need to come up with with appointments and and vacation like a year ahead, so I can manage everything. You yeah, know, because it's it, it's just like. <laughs> People just coming in all the time and stuff, which is really nice, you know. Okay, that's great. Well, listen, thank you very much for your time. No problem. Uh, very much appreciated. Enjoy the rest of the convention. I will do. And enjoy New York. I will. Obviously, do. I'm sure you will.